Third graders are getting a lesson on their new class pet. And it's not what you may think. 49 photojournalist Nate Riggs shows us what it is and how it's teaching them more about nature. And you look right into one of these eyes. Actually, the first week of, of school, a parent of a pre k -er was walking in the hallway after school, and she had a McDonald's coffee cup, and she came to me and said, do you know any teacher who would want a praying mantis? He's biting me, by the way. Does it hurt? He looks evil, and he really blends in with the, like, branches and stuff that we got him, though, so he would be in his habitat. My research is on the insect eyes, how they, how well they can see. I told a friend that, oh, I have a professor who breeds and studies praying mantis. And when I took that information back to my students, I think that they were shocked. He's like, hello, I don't like that. I learned that praying mantises can be, can camouflage very well, and sometimes you mistake them as a stick. There's a lot of things that they thought about insects, and they've been able to kind of find out the truth through, especially with the doctor coming today. Thank you. Very interesting. The class voted on naming the praying mantis Bob, but soon found out it was a female. Students don't plan on changing the name. They're now waiting for Bob to give birth.